Helping Kids Go Places. This month, we're featuring a community organization making a big difference in one Phoenix neighborhood. Hi, I'm Gabriel Ralph, and I am with Rehoboth CDC, which is a community development corporation. I run the PEACE program, which is an aspect of the CDC, and that is a youth program for our after school and activities and stuff like that for the kids. This area is called the Canyon Corridor. Um, it is a, an area that we're trying to build up. So the people here don't have access to the same resources that they may have other places. And we do see some things that are undesirable here that are a little higher, um, such as I mean, just basically illegal activities. We're trying to give people a home that they would be proud to live in in this area because it's not necessarily true for the surrounding communities. And the, for, the rent is affordable. This is an affordable housing complex, so it's not like a housing project or Section 8. Um, we, the rent is based on like income and certain things like that. So just try to have a great community. The kids come and meet us here from nine to two. They're free to come and go as they please. We feed them lunch, we feed them breakfast, and we even give them a snack when they leave. Just have a good time. Here probably for the astronauts. So to me, I, I believe in giving children the option to create and learn within parameters. Well, with the Peace Program, we have unstructured, structured fun time or structured, unstructured fun time, however you want to look at it. They aren't given the chance to be creative and to create because most schools, there's just too many children in the classroom for one teacher. But here, when they get out of school, I want them to basically be the teachers of themselves with the activities we give them. So they can choose and create for however long they want to create whether it is like skateboarding now, we have some skateboards that were donated to us. So we try to get what they're interested in. And then so if they want to play basketball or if they just want to make mud like cakes or whatever with water and the dirt outside, they even do that. So that's what I'm big on. Just like what do the kids want to do? Let them do it and give them options and see what they do. You learn a lot, not only because they're physically active and they're not necessarily just watching like influencers all day, but they get to interact with each other. They get to communicate, work on social skills, and they even play across um, like age levels well together. And it helps the younger ones develop, but it also helps keep compassion and empathy with the older ones. And they also learn a lot just through playing. So I think it does a good job, a, a great deal for the parents because they know that their children are in a positive and safe environment. And we even had some parents give us feedback that the aspirations for the children have been raised. Because they're in, influenced by college students on a regular basis and by positive experiences, they're like, maybe I'll be an engineer. So I do hear stories like that from parents and I think they're pretty thankful for that. And that, that I'm thankful to hear something like that because that's pretty cool. And they, there are so many other things that I wish kids could do in public schools, but they can't. So here, I'm thankful that I'm able to give them that opportunity to learn in different ways. For their work in the community, the Rehoboth CDC is getting a $1,000 Visa gift card, courtesy of the Valley Toyota dealers. Congratulations.